Hope Ford. A Kennesaw woman pled guilty to her fourth DUI and will spend 15 days behind bars. She was so intoxicated at the scene of a crash, she told police she was babysitting but couldn't remember where she left her young nieces. An attorney not associated with the case tells me these sentences can happen if a person already was seeking treatment prior to their court date. It's her fourth DUI since 2009. On top of jail time, her license was revoked and she will also have to pay fines, perform community service, submit to random alcohol and drug tests, and participate in alcohol and drug treatment. Saved from the flames. Clayton County police officers forming a human chain to rescue an elderly man from a burning house. Those officers accessing a window and pulling out the victim early Monday morning. The Stockbridge home in ruins, as you can see from these pictures. Two of the officers suffering minor injuries. The man has since made a full recovery. I'm Tracy Potts in Washington, where there's controversy about tomorrow's July 4th national celebration. President Trump is speaking from the Lincoln Memorial. His campaign and the Republican Party are giving out tickets to VIPs. And there are military tanks and other military hardware rolling in, including flyovers by the Navy Blue Angels, Air Force One. Some critics say this feels more like a campaign rally than a national celebration. And then there is the cost. The Washington Post reporting today that two and a half million dollars is being shifted from park repairs to help pay for this celebration.